<clears throat> How you guys doing? Ooh, it's loud. <laughs> Good. How are you, man? That's a heck of a way to start. Yeah. Um, if y'all don't mind, I want to open up by just first and foremost, bro, thanking God for allowing me just to be out here today. Um, not playing football for the last six weeks has probably been the hardest thing I've ever had to do. And uh, being able to come out and help the team win, um, I just, I mean, I, I have truly have no words. Uh, I want to thank Coach Reed, Veach, Bino, Ted, Joe, the whole D-line, the whole defense, the whole Chiefs organization, uh, Coach, Mr. Hunt, um, just for the support for the last six weeks. So, all right, I'm good now. I know, I know you said it's the hardest six weeks you've had, but what made it the hardest? Not being out with the guys, man. And I, I've, in my career, I've only missed maybe two games. My first game in the league, um, my first when I first got to the league, I was inactive for week one, and then I may have missed one other game. And, um, so I haven't really missed games before in my life and just talking about the league. So just missing those six games, see them boys going out there and even want to be a part of it, um, especially coming in and trying to be a piece to a puzzle that's already been put together quite nicely. I, I, I just, it was, it, was, it was eating at me, but thank God I'm back and um, was able to help the team win and a big win in the divisional game. What, what kinds of things did you do during the suspension to kind of stay with yeah, no, I, I trained in uh, Austin with my, my guys at Collective. Uh, shout out Jeremy Hill, Mo, Mo Wells, and Tim. Uh, they're keeping me in shape. And then um, I would have my D-line guy, uh, Nathan O'Neill, come out. And uh, I, we would work pass for us. And I just worked as if I was still in the off-season program. I never really took off the gas um, because, you know, coming out on the field, it's, I mean, guys are trying to, they're playing for families and all sorts of things. So, you know, you got to be in tip-top shape. So I never just took off the gas for real. What stands out about the uh, we just tighten it up a little bit. You know, that's a good team over there. They got a great quarterback, um, a coach that, you know, is smart. So uh, we just tightened it up, and it helped, you know, getting turnovers. I think you got them all in the second half maybe. But um, just helped getting turnovers, and the offense is rolling. So. And then, just, I mean, you did watch this defense. Yeah. What stood out to you as, as you watched them? <clears throat> uh, just the way guys were swarming. Uh, guys will run to the ball. Um, guys are attacking the ball. Um, you got guys who can rush. Mike was having, is having a hell of a year. George, Chris, obviously, and, and Derek plugging up in the middle. And also um, Felix and Turk and Malik, you know, those guys and, and were, were, were turning it up. And so just watching those guys work and perform. So I just wanted to come in and just add to it. How about just the idea of getting a sack and a, pass, and a ball batted down and just being as productive as you were? Yeah, I mean, you know, they they trusted me and brought me in to add more to the fire that's already here. So you got to go out there and be productive. That's the name of the game. You were what was your emotional level things? as far as entering today, as far as your excitement compared to past games? You've been to playoff games and openers. How was it emotionally for you this time? Yeah, throughout the week, I was super calm. Um, this morning, I woke up at 6.15 in the morning, uh, uh, like a – Charged up, and then I told myself, uh, "Bless you." I told myself that I gotta, you know, turn it down a little bit, and then coming out um, and seeing the fans that got me rolling again. And after that, I just was like, "All right, like you know, you've done this, and it's a game, and I play better when I'm very mellow." Charles, the moment of the, the moment of the sack, just considering all that you've done for the past six weeks, what, what's going through your head as the crowd is kind of staring you? Like, Thank God, it's only God, bro. Truly. Um, it was a surreal feeling. Um, working with work, me and Chris kind of just felt Chris getting getting up the field and wrapped him. And uh, the first quarterback hit, I was like, I'm close. And I, I kind of felt like, all right, it's going to be one of those type of games where you're going to get active. So getting the sack, um, probably the happiest moment of my career, personally. Um, and doing it at a, with a new team, at a home game, big game. I kept asking around the bill, I'm like, this Chargers game is a big one, huh? Like. And they're like, yeah, I was like, okay, okay, let me keep that in mind. Hey, Charles, after that, I saw you kind of grab a couple of teammates on the sideline. Can you describe the emotions? Yeah, the those guys, a lot of those guys really knew, like, the, the intricates of, like, what I was going through mentally. And um, Willie obviously had a situation where he had the same kind of deal. So he was talking to me all week, you know, and keeping me encouraged. And um, some of the guys that just, like I said, been knowing, you know, how I've been feeling and, just uh, those guys embracing me was a big thing for me. Chris always talks about how Joe Cullen helped him with mm -hmm. his pass rush skills and obviously mm -hmm. some scheme and things for him to have one on ones. Just what have you taken from Cullen throughout this process and how do you think he may help you um, kind of in the same way you've helped him? 
Yeah, no, Joe's an excellent D-line coach, first and foremost. Uh, Joe's definitely helped me as far as, like, pushing myself all the way to the brink. Um, straining on the little things in practice, he'll make me go back if I'm not straining. So taking that into the game, strain on your rush. Uh, the rush is never over kind of deal. Um, he's very detailed, and um, he, he wants guys, he wants the line that can put the quarterback on the ground. So he stresses that a lot and also stresses stopping the run. So he's just a guy that is going to push you all the way to that wall and past it. You and Chris lining up on the same side a lot today. Just, do, do you just feel that this, this, the, the sky's the limit for y'all to together as a duo? Uh, yeah, I mean, playing with a guy that is going to be a Hall of Famer one day and trying to work off of him is just an advantage for me. And, um, I mean... <laughs> It's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> Injuries are part of the deal. It looks like Nick Bolton hurt his wrist today. What, what have you seen from him, and, and how important has he been for you? Yeah, Nick is one of the best linebackers I've ever been around. Um, and that's saying something, because I've been around a couple of them boys, you know, that are legit. So Nick is right there with him. I think Nick's a great leader. Nick is a great communicator. Um, he has a lot on his plate out there, so I, I salute him for making those checks, calls, and getting everybody situated. I hope that everything goes well with him and his injury or whatever it is, because um, we definitely need him out there. Last one in the back. Uh, we, I know we've been talking about it a lot, but you mentioned during the six weeks, um, you just taking the time, staying in shape and whatnot. But is there something that maybe you took away or learned about yourself during that time that maybe you wouldn't have if you were here? Yeah, no, that's, that's probably the best question today. Um, I learned that, and I think, Everybody can kind of take this in. Um, you got to trust in God's plan. I never in my life would have imagined um, ever missing six games. That's a lot. Uh, but in that time, in the time of trial, I learned that, you know, not everything is going to always go exactly how you planned it. But however it goes, you got to make a way. And if you stay in prayer, you'll come out a better person. And I think these six weeks have helped me grow as an individual. And, um, Today, after the sack, I just was just thanking God and knowing that, um, did I predict the sack today? No, but I felt like I was going to have a good game because just of all the, the path I've had to walk for six weeks has been a path of trusting and believing in any obstacle, anything I was throwing my way, any kind of um, just evil that might have been coming or any type of negative energy, um, just keeping in prayer and trusting God, it all, it all worked out. I'm, I'm happy, and I'm probably the happiest I've ever been in my life, to be honest. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.